Hello loves, welcome back to Tigre Dana. Today I have a very special video. I've been kind of putting it together for a minute. Um, I wanted to get it to you guys before Halloween ended um, and before October ended, but I didn't get a chance to put it together for you guys because I've been super busy with the Tigre Gitana Apothecary restock so I didn't I just didn't get a chance to do it um so I am doing it now so I hope that you guys did stock up on your goodies if anything you can find a container like this or similar if you look at my hand it's about the size of my hand um so what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to do a um on the go witchy bruja kit like the things that you need okay um for on the go um and i have a quite a couple of tools here that you can add to it if you need to but these are the ones that i'm doing in this particular um time and i'm using majority of the things are from the dollar tree so that's why i'm showing it to you guys um so let's get started so first and foremost i got this um container at the dollar tree it was really 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 cute um and i just love that it has um this call on here because this in itself you can just use it um if you needed to as an altar for a santa muerte like just on the go and just kind of like uh lean it back on something and then go ahead and do a ritual uh, there um so it has like a double um to me it has like a double you know usage it works as two things so that's why i really like it um and i just really love the design of it but this is what it looks like on the inside it is um pretty uh, it has a good height to it it can definitely fit in like any type of purse or your book bag you can definitely slide it in there there's different sizes so there is like a little bit of a smaller than this size i wanted to get the medium inch size because i know how i am and i like to kind of have like a lot of different tools to work with but if you need it the smaller size you can also do that um so what i put in here can be again is customizable to you um and there's certain things that you can take from your altar from your other areas um and add it to here if you need to so um you're definitely gonna need a candle i added a cham chime candle to do this but i recommend because i couldn't find it at the dollar tree a actual birthday candle um i grabbed this one because i'm gonna be doing something else with this one to show you guys but this is another birthday candle but i'm talking about the really skinny ones if you guys know what i'm talking about the ones that are like really tiny those are perfect for on the go kits because they burn so fast you could literally do a whole ritual like this like super fast um so if you see those definitely get your hands on them because they they're really really handy for the on the go um spell kits um but for this i just added a chime candle um so this is like a travel altar in many ways um so if i was staying at a hotel or airbnb or somewhere and just like doing a little mini trip this is what i would take um even though you, you guys know me i end up taking like 50 million tarot decks and oracle decks um but yeah so i add one of these candles you always want to have a, some form of fire that you can start up so i got the mashes and these they sell it at the dollar tree um this container they sell in the craft section of the dollar tree and i just added my hot foot powder in there because and the reason being um you can use hot foot powder to um create a protection ring around your space and you can also deter people that you do not like so hot foot powder a lot of the time um what we use it for is really to send people away quickly to get the fire in their feet so they can just leave us the hell alone so you want to carry half a powder in like your to-go kit you want to carry this and you want to make sure that um you know if you're at work or something and you have a really bad co-worker or whatever you're you know whipping this out very you see how this how small this thing is you could just you know twist the cap and then you know do a little to do like walk by a couple times and you know do your thing so that's why hot powder is in here um and that's why I like to have it on my on the, on the go kits. Um, now, one of the things that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree that's in there in here is my Chavalongos. Um, so this specifically, I like to have it charges on my altar all the time. But when I'm traveling, I do bring it with me. I 1000% suggest bringing some form of divination when you're going outside especially having in your own um to go kit so whether that be this whether you want to bring um two dice you can bring two dice um and pull that way or you can even bring um which i also do all the time i bring a mini um tarot deck um on the go and i um literally just read on the go with this mini mini deck which is really really cute um and the third divination tool i always have like my pendulum 
this one i totally like dropped it and it cracked so i crazy glued it back together but it still works just fine this is a carnelian and i got this one in toronto um in canada and i, I love it it's one of my babies but there's another re reason why i'm adding this to the kit you want to have crystals that have double purposes so this is a pendulum so i could use it for divination especially in work situations i love being at work and having a pendulum because you can literally just you know go to the bathroom whip up the pendulum and ask any question what's going on if somebody's being weird to you you can just go ask you know real quick and i feel like it just alleviates a lot of like the tension so i do like to have a pendulum on me at all times um but it does work both ways because I consider it one of my emergency crystals. You should always bring, um, I like to have at least three emergency crystals, one being carnelian because, you know, I am a woman, so I get my period. Um, so I like to have carnelian. This is one of the, um, if you didn't want to do the pendulum, you can do the necklace. And the reason why I really like this and I have my other emergency, you know, crystals, on here uh but the reason why i'm showing you guys this is because it's actually a necklace but if you take it off and i've done this so many times at work i take it off i just you know let it drop just like this and then i wrap it around my hands and i use it as a pendulum so it works double ways um and so i love this one this one is amazing i got it at my favorite um crystal shop in new york city called crystal gardens in 10th and first ave if you guys ever want to check it out they're amazing over there and so I like to have this in my emergency kit because you never know when I'm going to get my period. Well, I do know because I track it, but um, you never know when I'm going to need to use it. Um, and carnelian is really, really amazing for work, doing a lot of sacred magic and manifestation. So, for example, if I do have my period and I'm wearing this, but I'm also, you know, while it's combating the pain, I'm also, I can be manifesting something else that I want for my job, you know? Um, so it's a really multi-purpose one to use. So that's why I bring it with me. My other two, um, and these were like my past other two. I don't do this anymore, but I definitely, um, you guys know that I've spoken about this uh, a while back. I did a lot of like heart healing in the past, like I want to say two years before last year um and so i had the jade on me all times and it really really helped me heal my heart chakra because um during those years i was really really trying to manifest my well i was trying to heal so i could manifest my partner um my life partner and so i was jade was my crystal of choice i wasn't rose quartz it was jade and this worked out because this is also really good for manifesting money and wealth and so um because i was growing my business and because i was healing my heart and calling in love that's what this this really hit both notes for me so this is this is my other go-to one thousand percent um and my last one is citrine which again is a neck it's a necklace that you can use as a pendulum and citrine is amazing for money and staying happy and really like using your solar plexus if you need a lot of willpower control you need to have a strain in your life these all of these three i actually got at my crystal shop in new york city so again if you um want to check them out they're on 10th and first half in manhattan they're amazing i love them so much um but yeah so those are my you should always have emergency crystals in your to-go kit now we're getting to the little last bits even though we do have a couple of other things to talk about but we get into the last bits so i like to carry um a post-it or a little mini notebook in here because just in case again i need to do any type of fire you know ritual any you know burning that i need to do i would also recommend if you would like to um this is not necessary this is why i didn't add it in here but you can also carry some basil in your kit um you just have to find the right um component like uh you know jar like a mini or jar um to put it in but you can also carry basil for any emergency wishes that you wish to make i didn't want to add it to it but because i you like that should be a little bit more um done in your own altar space but if you if you need to do it go ahead if you if you're like banking on you know getting something done you could do that um but you can also carry post-its and i picked a yellow one because again i like to do a lot of solar plexus work and because i'm a leo rising so i i lend a lot towards you know getting stuff done um but you can also pick from the other colors they all come in a pack so you have blue green pink and yellow and you can work with the chakras for this you can work color magic for this however you want to do it but i just picked the yellow one um you can also get a little bigger if you're someone who writes really big um however just make sure you know it fits in your kit this is like this is one i also got at the dollar tree 
which I thought was really cute and I use it quite often actually um so yeah so we got the post-its um this um is a mini sharpie pen that I got last year from the lights festival that Bay took me to but it fit perfectly in my kit you want a smaller marker I didn't buy a smaller marker from the Dollar Tree so it was just I just picked the one that I already had um but you're gonna want a smaller marker this is a sharpie um and it works very well for doing petitions on this so that's why i picked this um and you're also gonna want a conditioning a ritual oil that you have on you this specific one is my um peace of mind oil um and it's really really good for calming the nerves because it has the lavender essential oil um this is the one that i made um like with the dollar tree like the, the this was the one that i bought and then i charged and blessed it um so it has like a lavender base and a sweet almond oil so it's really really good for you know if you're at work you're stressed out just taking a couple drops putting under your temple um putting in your third eye if you need to calm down if you're trying to like do some divination like before you you know pull or you know use your divination tools you can just apply this first um rub it um on your wrist you can rub it on your hands um and it just it's very multi-purpose as well um the other um one that i would recommend aside from having some sort of calming the anxiety and calming your nerves and just relaxation it would be the protection oil um that we made also from the dollar tree um so i would swap either of those out um especially because that one's also very multi-purpose you can just pray for protection for um blessing your money blessing your um your love life like especially on an emergency you want to make sure your protection is there so you can either work with this if you know you're going to need it or you can just get the um use use and charge the protection one lastly i'm going to say this is one of my well this is not lastly but i'm going to say this is one of my um on the go one I, if especially because this is already on my altar space i would bring um santa muerta with me it's, she just fits perfectly in here she's like the perfect size i got the mini size a while back um this one is from mexico and it is charged and blessed at the bottom you can see and um it also it turns into a it's a necklace too if i wanted to do that as well um but this is amazing for if i need to do again a little mini altar and just you know do an offering or if i'm in nature and i'm trying to do something um very you know without any eyes i can just um go into a space where no way i can't be seen and just behind a tree or something and you know do my thing um no problem just by using a little bit smaller um statue so this one um i got for santa muerte so it worked out really well um the, then lastly what i was well i guess before i say the other lastly um as far as essential crystals i will also say selenite if you're doing a, a lot of angelic communication um especially if, if you're like stressed out and you if you're trying to like just channel and you're holding it and you just like to grip something this is a really good one to just grip and just pray um especially working with the angels so I would definitely if you didn't want to do any of the other ones i would do at least this one and then i would say it especially because i work with herbs so much we have to talk about emergency teas that you should have on you at all times and that are part of this kit um the first one i'm picking the sweet tangerine positive energy just because it it really lends to the um citrine um and because i like to maintain that at all times as much as i can so i do like to work with this um also the sacral chakra tea for when i'm on my period um include and that includes the ginger if you know somebody else is sick at work or anything like that or if you're feeling like you know you're feeling a little bit unbalanced or a little tense you want to work with ginger because ginger is amazing for healing um calming for anything that has to do um with the mind and just relaxing your body relaxing your spirit especially if you're feeling um really agitated or maybe having an anxiety like you know moment you want to make sure you have something calming and then moringa tea with um spearmint and sage this is really refreshing and moringa is a really amazing powerful herb to work with um it just oh my god it heals so much it's, it's amazing for your body um and so you I, I personally incorporate this just to maintain my own physical health um all the time so that's part of my emergency kit because me maintaining that is my number one so yeah i hope that that you know you guys got like an idea of how to kind of put yours together um if you do decide to do so but this is like just a really really cute and just perfect way to just um carry around your tools without it being you know 
without it being you know in the way showy or anything even though this is very very bold you know i would be the one to like whip this out somewhere and people be like what's that <laughs> but this is a really cool way to just um have you all your tools especially if you're traveling if you're on the go if you're like you know taking a really fast trip or something you never know what that you're if you're going to need some of your tools so you want to make sure that you bring some with you so those are my recommendations um for your tools um another really good one if you're not going to do the um hot foam powder would be just sea salt um or just if you do ha need an actual specific herb it would be that the other good thing about bringing the teas in here um is that you can also this works as uh, like herbs and cells so if you want to um charge up your uh if you want to anoint and dress your candle your birthday candle you can just cut this up and just dress it with the herbs as well um and you know go ahead and do your ritual so it really has double functions and i just think it's really amazing it's really cool um to do so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video uh, definitely don't forget to like and leave a comment down below let me know if you have your own little you know your own little on the go uh ritual kit um i've definitely i made one like i've had one since i was like really really small um i always just carried it in my backpack um and it's just it would always you know it would save me a lot of time um and a lot of different pains because if i needed to do something i would literally just run to the bathroom where nobody could see me or you know i'll be in the corner somewhere or you know I'll just step away from people I remember taking for like field trips and just kind of stepping away into like some of the trees where I can be seen and just you know going to prayer or, you know asking um for my ancestors my natives to protect me and just you know asking for those prayers is I like, just think is really important um so yeah so yeah this video is getting a little long so um thank you to all my new subscribers I know it's been like a really really stressful time I've been trying to upload a ton of videos and as well as the readings so definitely stay tuned for all of that because it is coming i will see you guys in the next video much love have a good night